Aloha kakahiaka and happy, happy Thursday, folks. My name is Aniela and I'm a coach with the Be With Your Twin Flame program. We are talking today about something I had a little really, really nice heart to heart sort of kind of um, conversation with one of my students and it reminded me of things that people tend to go through on this journey and it can be very, very difficult as you already know if you're on this journey yourself as I knew myself. And it's really about just looking, you know, really honestly at yourself and knowing that it's been a very long, long time that you felt good about anything, especially when it comes to this journey as once you are on the, the twin flame journey, the fear-based energy can get into everything and everything in your life. So it's been a long, long time since people feel good. That happens a lot. That happened with me and a, a lot of times, folks. You know, we're looking at that time frame and, you know, trying to be able to feel better. And we know that it just feels like forever. Everything feels like forever on this journey, feeling down, feeling depressed, even on the floor, physically on the floor, in physical pain many, many times because of having these energies repel and activating your fear-based energy so deeply that you actually feel ill. So there's a lot of times that that's happening. And if that's you folks, I totally, totally I'm speaking to you. Now, we're going to talk a little bit today about what is happening just on the surface so that you can recognize if that's you feeling like this, you are just, oh my gosh, you are just so, so, quote unquote, broken up about this, but you don't know how to get out of it. You have tried everything you know. You have done everything you know to start to try and even get on the road to feeling better, but you don't know how to get out of it. A lot of you, if you've been on this journey from what you consider, not others, but what you even consider, or even what others consider long on this journey, you start to get used to it. You start to get used to the pain and you start to even wonder if you want to get out of it when I pose that question. Do I even want to get out of it? Am I giving up all hope if I, if I quote unquote, <clears throat> excuse me, get out of this pain? Folks, the pain is one thing. The journey is one thing. But being able to get out of it is as far as it goes when it comes to your twin flame journey because you cannot get out of something that is already you. Being activated on the twin flame journey by the physical form of your twin flame is the re resonance and remembrance of your own soul. So there's no running from, from your own soul. There's no getting out of it. However, there is being able to learn how to view things, how to resonate that this is not anything like you've ever been on before. So of course, trying anything that you've known before to help you get over an X or whatever, whatever you employ to get you through this, it's not going to work. So it's basically just recognizing that whatever it, this is that you have no idea, although you've been living it for a long time, it's going to take something else to get you through this, to get you to a point of feeling good again. And what if I told you you're not just feeling good, feeling better about anything that ever comes, about everything that's happened to you, and about everything that's going to be coming your way when we're talking good. How about if I told you that? Because it is absolutely true. Yesterday, it was just so crazy. I saw this meme coming down Facebook on my wall and it was from one of these speakers that I love to pay attention to because he's very positive and he, he looks for the great things in life to keep you on a light level. I'm, uh, if you know already, I'm kind of on a light level. I don't like heavy. I don't like deep, even though I can definitely maneuver through those situations. But for myself, I love lightness. I love laughter, humor, all of that stuff. And one of the things he asked was, what is, because you've heard me say this so many 
many times people viewing this as the worst thing to happen to them. And his question was out there. There's thousands of answers, thousands. What is the best thing to ever happen to you that came out of the worst thing that ever happened to you? Folks, that's what I'm asking you today, the exact same thing. Because so many people really, really, really view this as the worst thing to ever happen to them. And I'll tell you right now, it's all perspective, it's all energetic. And when you start to realize that this happened to you because your soul said you're ready and because your soul wants to give you better, you will realize that this truly is and can be the greatest and best thing that ever happened to you. It is for me. And I look at you straight, straight on to tell you that it is for me. My life changed phenomenally once I started learning how to balance my fear-based energy. I had found me in me again, the me that I knew was already deep down in there and just got buried under layers and layers and layers of things in life. And then I found myself on this twin flame journey and thought, God, no, not this too. And it ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me. So if that's you, you're in it, you're used to it. There's a lot of people out there who love to say, I have a high tolerance for pain. It's not about the pain, folks. It's about wanting better for yourself. If you're going to make it about the pain, if you're going to make it about the struggle, that's all it will ever be. And honest to goodness, how is that working for you all this time? You know, being in a place where, you know, I get it. That's what you know. That's what you've lived. That's what you've been living it, been living. And you become very complacent, very, very used to it. And sometimes very bitter about it all. Who likes living like that? Who does? I did it, and that started to be me. So if that's you, folks, I totally get it, and I totally understand and resonate where you're coming from. But again, how is that working for you? There are, there are, there are things, and I will repeat that over and over, that will come to you when you start learning how to manage and operate from the soul. Alrighty, folks, we're going to send you off today. Have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday and a great weekend coming up. Ahoy ho and mala mapono. Bye, everybody.